Connor, welcome back. All right, of course, I'm having a lot of fun, like always, playing around with machine quilting rulers. Today, I am machine quilting this fun quilt block, and I am using just my Sway 4 machine quilting ruler, and I'm going to quilt this whole design with no marking. So the Sway machine quilting rulers are awesome, because really, you can just jump right into a quilt and start quilting without having to do any markings. So I'm going to show you exactly how we do that. So I will be stitching here today on my Gamel 22 inch machine. I am stitching in the stitch regulated mode and I do have my stitch length set at 13 stitches per inch. The thread that I'm going to be using here on the top is so fine and then I'm using the pre-wound super bobs in my bobbin. I am using one layer of the Quilter's Dream Poly Deluxe batting. All right friends, let's hop over to my machine and let's get quilting. The way that I have designed all of the Sway machine quilting rulers, I have designed them so that you can use the markings here on the ruler on this circular end to line up like on the ditch of a block and you're ready to begin quilting. So today I'm going to start by lining up the straight line or I could line up the X through the circular end of the Sway 4 on top of the corner here. I'll line it up just like that and I'm going to be quilting point to point curves working all the way around the block. Let's start out and use the straight end of the ruler and I'll travel over to about the halfway point of this block. Now I'm working on a four inch block, so the Sway 4 machine quilting ruler is the perfect size as it's designed to quilt four inch curves. So I'm traveling to the point where I can line up this straight line on the ruler and this straight line right on top here of the corner of the block. Once I get to that point, I'll engage my machine, apply gentle pressure and glide right along the side of that ruler. Once I reach this point over on the side of my block, I'm going to stop with my needle in the down position. I like to stop with my needle in the down position because then I know my machine's not shifting if I need to walk away. It's just a habit that I feel is really good to have. So once I've stopped here, now I'm going to stop and readjust my Sway 4 machine quilting ruler. Again, lining up those markings. Now you can see my block is not perfect. So I'm going to slightly adjust my ruler and get it as close to that point as I can. Most quilts are made by humans, so you need to be prepared to work with imperfections. So once I've stitched to that bottom point, again, I'll stop with my needle in the down position. I'm going to readjust my machine quilting ruler and stitch again to the opposite side of the block. Now once I reach the opposite side of the block, I know that I'm going to be stitching one more curve up here to the top. So I'm actually going to switch and use the concave side here of the Sway 4 machine quilting ruler. Now this concave side does come with a few markings. This dashed line right here indicates the center and then you'll see there's some diagonal lines that come out of that that represent a 45 degree angle. So I can line up that 45 degree angle line right here on the side of my block, line it up with my ruler, and then I should be able to also line that up right up here along the top of my block. My block's not perfectly square, so I am going to adjust my ruler slightly, but you can see how I can use the markings to hold my machine quilting ruler in a position that is more comfortable to me. So it's more comfortable to hold my ruler here down towards the bottom closer to my body and use this concave side of the ruler to quilt that final curve. And finish right back where I began. So I could leave this block just like this. It's adorable, like that, simple, so cute. Or I can dress it up a little bit more and of course that's what I'm going to do. So now I'm going to use the curved side here on the Sway 4 machine quilting ruler. So I'm taking into consideration a quarter of an inch from my needle position to the outside of my foot, holding my ruler so it's a quarter of an inch away over here from where I want my thread to intersect. I'll engage my machine and quilt point to point curves. 
I'm going to stop with my needle in the down position and again I can readjust using those markings on the ruler and you can see here I can actually line up this straight line right here and also that straight line to right across from the centers from these marked points and I know that now my ruler quilting is going to end up right where it needs to. And I can repeat that. So again, I'll line up that marking coming right off of my needle right there. And then over here, coming right off of that point, engage my machine. And then again, now it's going to be more comfortable to hold the ruler closer to my body. So now this time I'll switch to the curved side of the Sway 4 machine quilting ruler. so much fun. I love that the possibilities with this way machine quilting rulers really are endless and you don't have to mark everything. You can see how you can just jump right in and start machine quilting and you can dress it up as much as you want or keep it as simple as you would like. You can sign up for my brand new free ruler quilting class, the Nine Patch Along 5.0 over on our website peaceandquilt.com. I'll be sharing all sorts of inspiration for machine quilting with our Sway machine quilting rulers. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll be back soon with another machine quilting video.